I'm showing you how to download Ryan Klein for the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.21.30. To download it, you want to head over to their official website, which is going to be linked down in the description below, as well as my Discord server, which I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join. Anyways, to download it, you want to simply click on this green download button right over here, and the download will automatically start. So yeah, I'm back. Kind of. All of the issues still have not been resolved yet, but I'm pretty sure of what they're being caused by. And so I'm going to be very cautious and hope that this video at least is not going to get taken down. Um, if you want all the information on this situation, if you haven't seen it all yet, I will link my video as well as Phoenix SC's video down in the description below for you to check that out. To learn everything about what has happened recently, why my uploads have been less consistent and stuff like that i would also like to alert you guys of a well a friend's channel which i might be uploading on from time to time because i can't put a lot of the certain type of client videos on this channel um anyways as i said for more information check the description i am very sorry but totally not my fault so f you people um, that took down the videos. Anyways, the great thing about Horizon Injector is that if you already have it, you don't need to re-download it. As you can see, I can simply double click on this. It's going to open up. You can click on this green inject button over here and Horizon will be injected. And as you can see, it has been released for 1.21.30. Yes, I know, obviously, because of the situation, this video on Horizon is very late. But as I said, I have been uploading a few things on my friend's channel, um, including on the exact same day when Horizon updated, I made a video about it just on there. So please go check that out. That is linked down in the description below. Um, and if you would have been in my Discord server, I would have I pinged you guys about it, and you would know, of course, that that does exist. Anyways... Without further ado, um, I'm going to briefly be showing you how to use Horizon Client, although I'm sure most of you already get the gist. If you want the full in-depth tutorial, then that is going to be linked down in the description below. Anyways, so to start off, you just simply want to press on the insert button on your keyboard, and that is going to open up this area, which is the click GUI. If you want to set that to another key or you don't have an insert key on your keyboard, then you can open up the chat, type dot bind, click GUI, just like this, and then any key you want. For example, F. And now, as you can see, the key bind of click GUI is F, meaning I can press on F to open and close the click GUI. So as for the click GUI, what you see over here are all of the utilities that this client has. You can click on them to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. You get a brief description in the bottom left hand side when you're hovering over a utility and all of these ones with a plus, you can right click on them and you'll get a little bit of a customization menu. As you can see, they're all unique and some of these have more customization than others. Anyways, for the rest, this should be pretty self-explanatory. One place I do want to direct some attention to is the GUI. Some of these elements will have been enabled by default in some cases. For example, the HUD, the tab GUI, uh, sometimes stuff like that, as well as probably the watermark. As you can see, I have a few things on my screen now. Some of you will have started off with those on your screen. In the bottom left-hand side, you can see the HUD. It's just displaying stuff about my world. I can go into here and customize everything it displays if you want to do that, or you can of course turn it off as well to remove it. The tab GUI in the top left hand side allows you to navigate the click GUI, but with the arrow keys on your keyboard, this can be useful in certain situations. However, of course, if you don't want it, you can simply turn that off. Same thing with the watermark, if you don't want a watermark, then you can turn that off as well. And for the rest in this GUI area, there's a few more things that can be displayed too. One often used is the array list that is in the top right hand side and it basically displays all currently active utilities. As you can see, that is also often enabled by default. Anyways, once again, you can of course turn that off if you wish to do so. That was basically it for the click GUI area, but that of course was not all for Horizon. 
Hawaiian also has commands. As you can see, I used one right over here to bind the click GUI. To get a list of all the commands, you can simply type dot help in chat. Here, this will list every single command the client has, together with a brief description of what they do. If you're not sure how to use a command, for example, the bind command, then I can simply type dot bind in chat and Hawaiian will tell me the exact usage. Anyways, for the rest, that was basically that. Um, subscribe and like the video if you're happy to see me back. Uh, type stuff like that. Yeah, so that's basically uh, cool. Remember, all the stuff on my current situation is linked down in the description below. I appreciate all your support. And of course, thank you ever so much for watching. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.